Hey everybody, so today I am here to review the Juvie Cool Stroller. I know that you guys have been waiting for this ever since I did my unboxing, and I've been so excited to bring this review to you guys. So first, I'm going to go over some of the details about the stroller, and then I'm going to pan you to a shot of Mark and I showing you the different features of the stroller, and then pan back to me talking about our thoughts and experience with the stroller. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the details. This stroller retails for $500. You get the stroller frame and a seat with it. And the retailers right now, because it is so new, is at Bye Bye Baby, Juvie's website, and also albibaby.com. The stroller does come in two colors, gray or black, and this is such a new stroller that they may add colors down the line, but right now, those are the two that they have. And as for the weight, the stroller itself weighs 30.6 pounds. Now I'm going to go over some of the age requirements and the maximum weight limits for the seats and some of the accessories that come with them. As far as the age requirements, if you use the bassinet or your own car seat, you can use the stroller from birth. If you use a seat, the regular stroller seat, you can start using that at six months old. And if you use the bench seat, you can use that at three years old. As far as max weight limits go, when you use the bassinet, it's going to be 30 pounds. Your car seat would obviously be whatever your manual says the max weight is. And then if you use the stroller seats or if you use the bench seat, they both have a maximum weight limit of 55 pounds. So as far as accessories, the stroller did hit the market with quite a few. So I'm just going to read you what's available as of right now. And like I said, it is a new stroller, so you might see even more accessories come out. But... It does come with the availability of having a second seat option, a bench seat like I've mentioned, car seat adapters, rain cover, snack tray, parent organizer, a tote bag, and also the bassinet. So that's about it as far as the details go. I'm going to go ahead and pan you guys to the shot all about the features. All right, so I am here with Mark, and we are going to show you guys the different features of the Juvie Cool Stroller. First of all, it has this leatherette handbar. You can have three different positions. Right now, it's in the lower one. That's middle, and then there is an upper position. Mark tends to like the upper. I tend to like the lower, but that is an option for you. It feels super nice. It also has a very large stretchy canopy. It has optional mesh on the back side for child visibility and just ventilation. You basically just flip this little flap up and then you have your whole mesh that you can see through. It's really, really nice. And you can also just cover it right up if you don't need the mesh and that way you have a full canopy. So it's a win-win. Okay, so now we're gonna go over some of the features inside of the seat that it offers. So it does have this removable bump bar in the front. There are two buttons underneath that you just press on either side and you can pull it right off. You can keep it off, you can use the snack tray, it really doesn't matter, just whatever you prefer. It also has a five point harness. As you can see, the harnesses are completely adjustable. There is nice padding on both the shoulders and the crotch region, so it's very comfortable for the kids. It's all swivel, so you really don't have to worry about getting your buckles and belt straight because it is really forgiving. And like I said, it's very easily adjustable. So if you put a kid in one of the wrong seats and your kids are different sizes, it's not that big of a deal, but it is a very easy to work harness. It also does offer this texturized thicker rubber foot lining down at the bottom, which I really like. It's nice for those dirty shoes that always inevitably get mud or dirt or just anything down there. It's very easy to wipe clean. I use baby wipes on it all the time and it comes off just fine. Okay, so now we're going to show you guys some more features that have to do with the seat itself. The first one being the different recline positions that the seat offers. There's a really easy to use lever at the top, and you just want to go ahead and tilt your seat backwards. There's a few different positions that are available. As you can see, that's completely flat, but there's a couple in between that and sitting completely upright. So. It's really easy. You just lift that lever and put your seat wherever you desire it. Also, you might notice these two buttons on either side of the seat. You use those to lift the seats out. So you just want to press on either side, lift it up, and your seat comes right out. And then put it back in. You just pop it right in. You don't have to hold the buttons at all or anything. Okay, so now we are going to show you the different seat positions that this stroller offers. This all depends on the different adapters that you may have for this stroller. It does come with a set of adapters with the seat that you buy, but we are going to put on the second adapters for our second seat just so it's easier to show you guys between the different settings. 
So the seat right now, as we have it, is in the middle position, and then we're gonna have Mark put it in the upward position. So like I said, you would just move your adapters up there, and your child can sit even farther up. This is typ typically where we have Remy seat, and there's also a lower option available. Now you would have to buy the adapters to go with this as well. They are a little bit longer, they look a little different than the other adapters, but they just slip right in as well, really easy to move in and out. It also does have a couple buttons on either side to help get out. So after you have those lower adapters in, you can go ahead and move your seat down there. And you could use this just as a single stroller and have other things in the back and you could have it in the lower position. But the reason why we wanted to go ahead and show you these different positions is to also show you that it does have the capability to be a double stroller as well, which is one of the biggest points of this cool stroller. It can really grow with your family. So now we're just gonna go ahead and sit the second seat in. And I'm gonna have Mark turn the stroller for you guys a little bit so you can see it from the side because it's a little in your face right now. But this is what our stroller looks like most of the time. And as long as you have the adapters again, you can really choose where you want those seats. Remy seat at the top can be moved even farther down. You just have a lot of different options with three different placement options for the seat. This isn't the only way that you can utilize the Cool as a double stroller. They also have car seat adapters that work with 10 plus different models of car seats. They are also currently working on ones for the Nuna Pippa and the Maxi Cozy. So those will be available soon for you. But you could have one seat in a car seat. You could have both of these seats or, you know, you could go back to a single. It's really up to you. And that's the kind of beauty of the Cool that you can choose what you need when you need it. So the cool doesn't just stop there. It also does have the ability to be a triple stroller with this bench seat that I just handed Mark. And you just go ahead and you plop this thing right on the back. It is super simple. It's very sturdy. It's not gonna go anywhere. It does have a little adjustable kick bar and it also has a three point harness. So that's nice. Our three-year-old never has any trouble and she's nice and secure. We're never worried about her going anywhere. But you have a ton of different options when it comes to configurations with this stroller. There are over 50 that you can choose from between bench seats, car seats, bassinets, the stroller seats themselves. You just have a ton of different options. So now that we've showed you all of that kind of different stuff, I wanted to show you guys the different features that are on the bottom half of the stroller. The first one being the brake of the stroller. It's really easy to use. It's back here by your back wheels and you just very simply press it down when you want it to be locked and then you just push it up whenever you're ready to be unlocked. It's like I said, very, very easy to use. As you can see, we do have sealed wheels with front suspension. These wheels are great. They have a very nice ride to it. Very, very smooth. And I have zero complaints about them. There's also a huge, large basket underneath there. It holds a ton. It's also very stretchy, especially in the front. There's also some pockets that are in the basket, so you can utilize those. It's just very, very roomy. And then lastly, we did want to show you guys how you fold the stroller. So you're going to want to make sure that your brake is on first, which ours is. Then you're going to want to go ahead and move the seat into the middle position. This is where it needs to be when you're folding it. So just pop it down inside there. And then you want to go ahead and you want to press the button first and then you want to pull up on the triggers on either side and then you just want to bend with the stroller downwards. It does have a safety lock and you'll hear it click and there you go. And then to open the stroller all you simply have to do is to release it and to just help it fold upwards and it's really as simple as that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how we get the stroller in and out of our car trunk. We have a 2015 Subaru. It is a pretty roomy trunk in there, so we can fit quite a bit, but we do have the second seat right here. Then we have the stroller with one seat attached right there. And then over to the side, we do have the snack bar. So Mark is gonna go ahead and get this out. We like to grab the second seat with one hand just to get it out of the way. And then we pull the front of the stroller and just kind of shimmy it so it's forward facing. This is just the easiest for us to pull it out of our specific trunk. And then we go ahead and put the second seat over there in on the side. So we have both hands working with the stroller now. And then we look for the safety lever and we undo that. We hold it by the bump bar and by the basket bar, bring it out and then pop it open. 
And then after we get it out of the car, we just go ahead and move the seat down. This is Sophie's seat, so we click that down into the further position. And then the second seat is Remy's with the snack bar, so we'll go ahead and grab that. And then just pop hers in. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. This is just what works with our car and what we found works with both of us. Makes it pretty harmless. There you go. So that's what our double stroller looks like 90% of the time. So now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how we go about unassembling it and then also putting it in the trunk. So the first thing we do when we're unassembling the stroller is we go ahead and take Remy's seat off. We like to take the snack tray off just because I find it rides a little too high and prevents the seat from sitting as flush as it can against the stroller. Then we put hers inside the trunk just again to kind of get it out of the way. So we're able to go ahead and move Sophie's into the middle position. That's where your seat needs to be when you're folding it up. And I do leave the second seat adapters on there. They've never caused me any trouble, so I just keep them there. And then you just want to go ahead and fold the stroller the way we showed you inside. And we just kind of bend with the stroller and bend it so nothing's going to hit the ground. And then we just pick it up and then put it in. And we leave the wheels sticking out so they give you the least amount of resistance because the seat will just scoot on its edge. And then you pull out the second seat so you're able to turn the stroller horizontal. And then you put your second seat in. So it is a little bit of shimmying. It is a little bit of maneuvering and stuff, but it does work really well for us. And we are able to still have trunk space in here. And we just went to Walmart the other day and got a whole thing of groceries. So yeah, that is what it looks like inside of our trunk. Okay, so that is everything that we have features-wise to show you guys. If we missed anything, if you're curious about anything else, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. So now that I've showed you all about the stroller, I now want to talk to you guys about what our experience was and what our thoughts on it is. So right off the bat, I was really, really excited for the stroller. You know, I saw it get announced and I was just like beyond over the moon about it because I was really looking for a front to back double stroller because obviously we have two children now but we also want to add to our family so I knew eventually we'd need a triple stroller however I didn't like the stand on options a lot of double strollers had I wanted a seat for Sophie because that's who would be riding in the third seat so when I saw that Juvie came out with the bench seat and there's two stroller seats I was just so excited and I do have two other juvie strollers so i know the quality of them is always exceptional so i had pretty high hopes for this stroller and when i got it in the mail all of the expectations i had were just completely blown out of the water like i said they make quality products so i knew that's what i'd be getting however i feel like this stroller goes above and beyond what they've set their standard for it just feels nice it looks nice it feels like a luxury stroller but it has a 500 dollars price tag I know that that's expensive for some people, but you can honestly buy everything you need, every single adapter, the seats, everything for the triple stroller, put it in your cart, and I was able to use two coupons from Bye Bye Baby, and it came down to around $600. There is no place else you are going to find this quality of a stroller for that price. It is just crazy. And as for comfortability, obviously Remy's still a little too young to really tell me, but I feel like if she wasn't comfortable, I would definitely know. But Sophie lives to get in this stroller. I'm serious. Anytime we tell her we're going to go somewhere, she'll say, are we going to get in the car and then get in the stroller? She loves it. She absolutely loves that stroller. I don't know what it is about it, but she does. So as far as it comes, to like what my kids like they definitely get an A plus there and while we're on the topic of the seats they are phenomenal obviously well made like I mentioned the quality but the recline on them is just oh, when I saw that it was just this easy little button at the top back side of the seat I was thrilled. We have had strollers in the past that are very difficult to recline. You have to push a button on either side and then you got to find a way to like tilt the kid and it's craziness. This is so simple. You literally lift the little lever there and you can literally move your kid wherever you want them. I have no problem moving my 30 pound toddler 
or my 20 pound toddler wherever I want them when it comes to that button recline. It is just phenomenal. I know some of this stuff is going to sound really trivial to you guys, but like I said, I've owned several strollers, so I've learned what's easy to work and what's not. And when you have multiple kids out, the last thing you want to be getting heated and stressed over is your stroller. Trust me, there's going to be enough tantrums and screaming and everything to go around without having the added stress. So, you know, when I say stuff like the recline so easy, I know that might sound silly, but it's not to me because it's not something that I have to put more energy into or that I have to focus on or if I'm going to wonder if it's going to work right or can I use this stroller even though Mark's not around to help me get it out of the trunk. Stuff like that, it really does matter to me because at the end of the day, as a mom, I need things to function and be easy because I've got enough on my plate to worry about. I also want to mention that I feel like the harnesses are really easy to adjust in the event that we get the seat switched up. We do try to keep a method. We normally have Sophie sitting in the front and Remy in the upper back. So I normally take Remy's seat off and then move Sophie's into the position to fold the stroller up. But sometimes we get them all mixed around and it's really not that big of a deal because you can loosen them so easy or tighten them up if it's in Remy's case. So I really like that. I also wanted to mention the bar and the basket. I did get a lot of questions on that on my unboxing and personally after you guys mentioned it, I started to get curious if it was going to be in the way and I will say 99% of the time it does not. There's only one time where I've ran into it being a problem and that was when I shoved a box of diapers underneath into my uh basket and my box of diapers is the honest box so it's not very big but it is you know about this size and about this tall so it was really kind of difficult to get that out but I feel like most people don't put a huge box of diapers <laughs> underneath in their basket and now I just sit it on the back side of the stroller so it's actually leaning against the bar and it's just out of the way and it's easy to grab so it's really no problem but I mean I've had gallon jugs in that basket. I've had watermelon, I've had produce, and a whole bunch of other wonky crazy stuff including my diaper bags and it's never gotten in the way it was just that box of diapers that was like the one time I had a problem. You guys saw me unbox the tote bag in my unboxing and while I was filming that and even afterwards I started wondering how much I would actually use it. I even made the comment to Mark about how I thought it'd be good for like a farmer's market where you know you don't get a ton of plastic bags or any kind of shopping totes to help you out so I thought that'd be kind of convenient or like a flea market something like that. But I never really envisioned me actually using it on like a typical basis. However, it has become a lot more functionable and just like I use it all the time now because it really does help a lot. I went into the grocery store not too long ago and I got a whole bunch of groceries and I have the girls with me and I put the tote bag in between them and I filled it up. And I thought, you know, I'll just bag my groceries and I'll just throw the groceries in the trunk and then, you know, take the bag out, whatever. However, I realized that, at least with my trunk, I have to put the stroller in before I can put groceries in. So then I was like, well, what am I going to do? Well, I just took the tote bag out and I sat it in my front seat. And then when I got home, I brought that tote back in. I took out all my groceries, sat it down, and I took it back out to my car. It's actually been a lot more useful than I ever envisioned it would be. We've gone shopping a number of times with the girls and we've used it a lot. And now that I've seen how I can use it to get groceries while I'm out with the girls, I absolutely love it. So if you're looking to use this stroller while you're at the grocery store or when you're going to go shopping a lot, I definitely recommend you get the tote bag. And it can hold a ton. I think that the snack tray is absolutely genius, especially because the plastic part pops off so you can leave the frame with your stroller and take it inside if you need to wash it if it gets gross or something. But it honestly comes clean pretty easy with a baby wipe because that's what I've been doing. I just really like it. It feels really nice and I feel like it's not going to get like broken or anything over time. I've had some snack trays that are just like crap. But this again just meets with the rest of the quality of the stroller. And I will say if you are going to use it, just take it off before you fold it up because it sits higher than the bump bar. And so I found with my trunk, it's just too much of a tight fit. So I pop it off before I fold anything up. I will say that I don't use the parent organizer much just because my favorite stroller before this one I was used to not having one so I just I'm out of the habit but I will say the times that I have used it it's functioned perfect perfectly you know it's not in the way I've had ones that hang really low they're like getting kicked by the kids feet or they're too high and I can't put like a drink in it not the case here works really well 
I will say as far as trunk space goes, we get about the same amount of trunk space. You guys saw us fold it and take it out of our car and see what that looks like. But with our other stroller that we were using beforehand, it was wider, whereas this one's more narrow, just taller. So I feel like we get about the same amount of space, even with the second seat also in the trunk. A couple other small little minor details, and then I want to mention my favorite thing at the very end. But Sophie loves the bench seat. We haven't tested it out a ton just because we don't really need it right now I like having her confined in the seat but we have used it here and there and she really loves it she loves sitting in that kind of stuff where she's more like open and she can see everything around her she loves that it's really nice it's secure I feel like she's not going to go anywhere just recommend it if you're looking into the bench seat and I also do like the canopies are stretchy because my girls wear high ponytails or buns a lot so even though they have those tall hairstyles it can still be in there just fine and their hair doesn't get ruined because it's stretchy again I know that these are small minor details but still it's stuff that I notice in real life and then the last thing that I wanted to mention and probably one of the most important things to me is just how easy this stroller is to maneuver I said in my unboxing that it felt like a really smooth ride and it is you know when you're on carpet and tile and whatever you know if you're walking on a sidewalk stuff like that it's gonna be an exceptionally smooth ride feels really nice but it also can handle the more bumpy kind of terrain areas we've tested it out on like kind of dirt kind of tree root areas you know we have a couple parking lots around here that have like cracks and dips and stuff like that I've also taken it in our front lawn that is not the easiest to maneuver because it's like kind of lumpy and hilly and just like I said hard to maneuver but even if I'm on just like a nice even surface I wanted to mention the fact that it's really easy to maneuver this stroller is not too heavy for me it is not hard for me to assemble it's not too long to where I feel like I can't maneuver this thing right it, I'm getting in the way you know we have had front to back strollers where I felt like it was super long and I was running into people or I couldn't do the turns with the girls and this was like a year ago when both of them were significantly smaller Sophie weighs 30 pounds Remy weighs 20 together that's 50 pounds in a stroller and I have no problem moving the stroller one-handed if I need to so I just wanted to mention that because I know other strollers have been deal breakers for me because I couldn't get them out of the trunk because they were too heavy or it was just too weird to put together or I had a really hard time pushing both girls and turning and I would have to have Mark do a lot of it not with this stroller like I said it's got quality it is functionable it is just well made and well thought out like I said at the end of the day I need things to be easy for me to use simple and just function how they're supposed to and I feel like the cool stroller just met every expectation I had and like I said the quality was just blown out of the water these are nice seats it looks nice it looks really expensive without being as expensive as other similar models you know stuff like that and at the same time you're not going to give up any of the quality the brakes work well the kids are going to be comfortable they're going to be secure you have the triple stroller option i just think this is really great no matter what situation your family's in whether you have one child and that's the way it's going to stay you're a growing family you need a triple stroller whatever definitely look into this i think it is a great great option for what you're getting you're just going to get well above your money's worth. I'm going to have all the links that I mentioned down below for you guys so you can check them out. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.